Hey guys, what's up? Once again, this is Ryan. I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to use the knife tool in Illustrator. And what we're going to do is we're going to create some uh, negative shape art, negative space art. Uh, just a quick little doodle. Um, so first I grabbed the rectangle tool and made it the size of the artboard. As you can see, um, I made the color, the default colors and then swapped um, I was going to remove the background or the stroke, but then I decided not to. So start with the knife tool, which is over here attached to the scissors. And if you scribe a shape in there, you can see that it, uh, it will leave two separate shapes because I had the, the rectangle tool. So then I can select the interior shape and delete it, leaving an empty, you know, negative space. So it's kind of a two-color thing. Um, kind of like when you were, you know, I don't know if you did it, but when I was younger, um, you'd have a piece of paper that you'd covered with black crayon. And then underneath the crayon um, was the white paper, and you would just get a knife or um, something sharp, or at least uh, like, like a metal spoon even, and you would create shapes in that scraping away the uh, the black crayon from the page, leaving the white background, or if you had another color underneath. Anyway, so that's what this reminded me of. I drew this little doodle, and I'm going to show you uh, some things with it um, that uh, you need to consider when you're working with the knife tool, and then how to clean that up. Um, so here's my little shape and I decided to just select the uh, part that I wanted to remove and as you can see it took away parts that were uh, not what I wanted to take out. I wanted to leave those shapes. So you want to grab the direct selection tool, the, the A on your keyboard, and you can move those shapes around. Um, however, as you can see, it's wanting to remove that point from the uh, from the shape, the complex or compound path. So that doesn't work. I tried joining; that doesn't work. So the way to get around that, um, I will show you here in a second. I'll zoom zoom back in and uh, leave my shape in there, or maybe I'll just draw another one um, after I get my shape in. As long as those uh, those lines kind of overlap, then it works. Um, going back with another path doesn't seem to work as well. So I realized uh, what the problem was, and I'll show you here in a second um, when I fix the uh, these these points here with the A, you know, the direct selection tool to try and close them off, close off everything that. Um, might be deleted if it thinks it's part of that compound path and it doesn't have an interior shape. Um, as long as you have overlapping parts of the path, it will it will work. So then select everything and go to Shift M, which is the Shape Builder tool, and then you can just click inside each individual shape, and it will make a separate. It it will do the separation for you. So there, uh, this part's not working here. So I obviously have something that's a miss. So we'll zoom into the tongue and we'll see that there's it's not close enough to overlap so we'll just move that piece so it kind of overlaps and then go back to select everything and shift M for the shape builder and then you can select each individual part and now when I zoom back out I can select the uh, the shape that I want to remove to leave white space and there it goes. Now I need to redo the the interior port of the tongue there. So that's just a quick tutorial on how to use the knife tool. Not many people know it's there. It's uh, kind of hidden, but uh, it's a great tool to use. Thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe to check out more Illustrator and other software design um, tutorials and some other projects. I have a pretty random supply of new projects that I am wanting to work on. Um, and so uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.